hi everyone welcome back to our channel little underrated hope you are all doing well today we are gonna check out a video by sahil uh, sahil badvia titled as iex share uh, down by 55 percent why iex share price is falling iex fundamental analysis so iex have been one of the monopolies for a long time in india it is still one of the biggest monopolies provided there has been a recent inclusion of new competitor i'll let you guess the name you can guess the name in the comment section but it will be interesting to see how iex story plays in the long term as far as the competitor uh, market share is uh, uh, considered right or is discussed but the share has been correcting a lot it has corrected more than around 50% uh, the figure he has mentioned in the caption is 55% but uh, some of the uh, investors who have been holding this stock for from let's say one year or more than a year still has faith intact in this stock uh, now uh, i am expecting sahil might talk about uh, what he feels regarding the stocks uh, is the growth factor intact uh, how this stock will play in the long term as far as his uh, analysis or consideration is concerned and whether the existing investor should be holding the stocks or should be churning out or selling the their equity holdings in iex or the newer investor should be jumping in to buy the stocks provided it has corrected a lot so let's jump to the video for more details hey everyone in the last one year iex share price is down 55 percent from its peak and i have received multiple requests to create a video on iex share it is one share that was hot favorite of investors last year. In fact, before COVID, IEX share price was available at levels of rupees 40 to 50. And then it saw a huge rally where the share price jumped a high of 303 rupees last year, generating nearly 6 to 8 times return in a span of 2 years. However, from those highs of 303 rupees, today IEX is trading at levels of 138, which is down 55% from its peak. And people who invested in IEX shares last year are confused about what went wrong in this company. So in this video, I'll help you understand the exact reason why EX share price is falling and what you could do about it. By the way, this is my personal viewpoint. It is not a stock recommendation. At the end of the day, you should have a clear understanding of the business and accordingly take a decision of buy and sell. And this video is only for long-term investors, not for traders. I recently conducted a poll where I asked, what is your definition of long-term investment? And I was pleasantly surprised to know that 77% people believe that long-term investment is more than 5 years. Personally, I also fall into that category. I strongly believe that when you invest in a stock, you actually invest in a business and you don't sell your business with one or two quarters of underperformance. I really find it strange when people just invest based on past return and then take a decision of buy and sell purely based on stock price movement. But when I discuss the fundamentals of a company, I look at the long-term bigger picture. I know that I cater to a very niche audience because very few people really have the patience to invest in stock market for long term. But I am happy with my small family. My honest endeavor is to study strong businesses with strong future potential and discuss it with you all. In the last one year, I have discussed the fundamentals of many companies but since in last one year the market has corrected, many of the stocks I discussed are down. But the stocks are still fundamentally strong. And this correction has created a good opportunity to add them in the portfolio. So as long as you find my analysis useful, I would continue to share my research. All right, now let's get started with today's video. To understand the reason for fall in share price, first you need to have a clarity on how IEX work. So IEX is a power exchange platform that facilitates the trading of electricity in the short term. It means buyers and sellers can visit IEX platform and buy and sell electricity. So electricity trading happens in two ways. First, long-term power contracts where Discoms, that is electricity distributor, enter into a multi-year deal with electricity power producer. This deal could be as long as 15, 20, 25 years. And second, short-term contracts where the electricity contracts happen for few days to few weeks. If you look at the last year of data, long-term contracts represent 86% of power trading and short-term represent 14%. Within short term, 7.7% contribution is from power exchanges like IEX. So it represents a very small portion of overall power trading. That is very important to understand what happened during COVID. During COVID, 
there was less demand for electricity due to lockdown as the manufacturing facilities were not running at full capacity due to lack of demand for products and there was ample availability of coal hence there was more supply and less demand for electricity as a result the electricity prices went down in fy20 average electricity price was rupees 3 kilowatt hour it further dropped during fy21 to 2.82 kilowatt hour it was because there was ample supply of electricity due to coal availability and the demand was less so if you have high supply and low demand the electricity prices would obviously go down this low price provided a good opportunity to discoms to buy electricity from iex to replace their costly power with cheap power from iex as a result the electricity trading volume of iex jumped a lot this was eventually positively reflected in iex revenues margins and profits in fy21 iex revenues jumped from 257 crore to 317 crore signifying 23% jump and in fy22 the revenues jumped to 426 crore signifying 34% jump in fact the profits jumped even crazily in fy21 profits jumped from 178 crore to 213 crore signifying 19% jump and fy22 profit jumped to 303 crore signifying 42% jump on top of this there was a huge bull rally post covid so both sharp increase in profits and high liquidity during bull run resulted in iex share price zoom from lows of 40 50 rupee to highs of 303 rupee generating 6 to 8 times return within 2 years this made iex share price super expensive at its peak iex was trading at p ratio of 100 so i hope now you got an understanding of why iex price jumped crazily during covid now let us try to understand why iex price has fallen 55 percent from its peak post covid when economy started reviving the demand for electricity started increasing initially this demand was under control but eventually this demand jumped significantly as a result there was acute shortage of coal hence there was not enough supply to meet the demand so now the situation got reversed the demand jumped significantly and the supply fell down heavily so due to low supply and high demand the electricity prices jumped significantly from the lows of 2.8 rupee kilowatt hour in fr21 to 6.6 .6 rupee kilowatt hour in fr23 as a result the electricity trading volume fell down on ix platform this eventually impacted company's revenue and profits revenue started falling from highs of 114 crore in december 21 to 95 crore in september 22 quarter and profits tank from highs of 80 crore to 70 crore on top of this we saw a sharp fall in liquidity in the market hence iex saw profit booking after huge jump and the share price tank to current levels of 138 rupee i hope now you got a clear picture about why iex share price has tanked badly moreover there were concern regarding the new competitor of iex named hindustan power exchange promoted by ptc india bombay stock exchange and icici bank so iex that once dominated the power exchange market with nearly 90 percent volume is now facing a new competitor and that also impacted investors confidence in terms of valuation iex p ratio has fallen from highs of 100 during bull run last year to current levels of 42 so now from valuation perspective iex is available at decent levels now the question is what should you do with iex share for that you need to understand the future first of all fundamentally there is no problem with the company the fall in share price is due to external event due to sharp jump in coal prices which impacted company's trading volume and profits and eventually that got reflected in the share price so fundamentally iex is still strong as far as future is concerned i strongly believe that the future of short term power trading is very bright as we have discussed power trading from platforms like iex contribute just 7.7 percent in total power trading so there is ample scope for growth in short term power trading then there is one big trend of renewable power production using solar, wind and hydro and this trend would continue in the future. In fact, there is a democratization of power production. Earlier, the power production was mainly limited to a few big players like NTPC. But now, many people are installing solar powers at their rooftop and eventually, they might also start trading power on platforms like IEX. Then electric vehicle would be the future and there will be huge requirement for electricity. This will eventually increase power trading on platforms like IEX. Although the biggest factor that would drive the share price of IEX in the near term would be the coal prices. After the sharp jump, coal prices are now expected to soften. Moreover, now the winter season is starting which is a lean period for electricity consumption. 
so that would also result in higher availability of power supply and hence fall in electricity prices this should result in increase in power trading volume on ix and ultimately increase company's revenue and profits so if you are an existing investor in ix there is no need to panic company is fundamentally strong yes last year ix price jumped crazily but after this fall ix now looking very attractive so you can hold the share in your portfolio in fact you should keep an eye on the quarterly results and if the quarterly results start improving from here then you can even consider adding ix in a systematic manner but yes don't do panic selling i believe that the worst is over for ix and there is limited downward risk in the share price from current levels and for the long term the future is certainly bright so this is it for this video if you find this analysis useful then do subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update there are many more interesting videos in the pipeline i am sure you'll find them useful and if you want me to cover any specific topic do let me know in the comments i'll see you next video till then take care so the video was quite interesting he talked about the reasons why the iex uh, stock price have been falling and the reasons are justified uh, that uh, the trading volume of the electricity itself has been decreasing on uh, iex platform this could be attributed to multiple reasons to small extent it is because of the competitor the hpx in the stan power exchange newer platform coming in into the market another reason is uh, that the prices of electricity has gone high and uh, so have been the supply supply has been gone haywire and uh, now as the uh, supply has been decreasing and the prices have been rising for electricity uh, this is leading to the decreased volume trade on uh, iex platform for the electricity or the energy right which have been decreasing the revenue as well as the profits another reason is the iex iex stock has been quite overvalued it has given like 6 to 8 times returns not percent but times 6 to 8 time returns after the covid period that is in time frame of less than 2 years it has jumped a lot so there was a correction requirement in the stock price as well to adjust the pe but now that the pe has been uh, adjusted from the figures of 100 to 42 uh, even more than half a percent half the amount so now it is looking quite decent to purchase uh, ix but the one so holding should be holding for the long term and uh, the newer ones who are looking forward to uh, jump in as a new investment for the iex should be actively looking on the quarterly results seeing the uh, improvement if there are any in the short term that is in coming quarters right but over over the long term holding the stock looks quite uh, intact and as the business does so uh, the video is i think useful for all the viewers not only the ones holding but also the ones who are considering iex as a new investment or the entry investment we are going to check out some other videos as well till then please subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in next video till then take care bye bye